Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is a little update on the Microsoft Edge browser. Of course, uh, I get asked questions from time to time. First of all, remember that in May, everybody will have the new Edge stable browser that will replace the old Edge legacy. This is, of course, to make sure that the old Edge legacy disappears. It's going to happen on the patch Tuesday updates of the May of uh, this year, so 2021. And uh, after that, well, you'll see if you do see the icon of Edge, you'll see the new icon, which is the Edge stable version. Uh, remember that the Edge stable version is uh, based on Chromium, which is a open standard for web browser. And uh, that open standard for the web browser is, of course, uh, used by a few, quite a few browsers out there. It is not Google Chrome. A lot of people mistaken and say, well, that's Google Chrome. It's not. Chromium is an open source project, and you can build around it and uh, make it your own browser, and many browsers actually use that. The uh, Edge browser is personalized with Microsoft in mind, of course, because it comes from Microsoft. Uh, it is surrounded and uh, integrates Bing rather than Google services because it is a different browser. Um, it does and can use the Google Chrome uh, extensions. So if you uh, have extensions that you like, you can add them. It works. You can uh, have them either from the Microsoft Store or have the Chrome Store extensions that actually will work. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is that it's privacy oriented. So in settings, you have a lot of the security settings uh, that are meant for your own um, security and your own uh, safety. So this is one of the things that a lot of people don't know about this. Um, and it's the fact that all the security settings in here is really, really uh, what is actually making um, this browser stand out from Google Chrome. Uh, Google Chrome doesn't do a lot in terms of, you know, protecting your privacy with tracking and all of that. Microsoft Edge does a pretty good job at it and has different levels of uh, protecting you and blocking trackers and so on. And of course, you can change that level if you want. One of the things also that is going to be interesting is Microsoft says it wants the Edge browser to be the best PDF viewer ever. And they are working hard in creating all sorts of uh, interesting things if, if you want to read PDFs, including highlight, write, uh, you know, annotate. You'll be able to, of course, have your PDFs read out loud. You'll have a lot of functionalities uh, that might actually make the uh, Edge browser one of the great ways to actually deal with uh, PDFs as uh, that is one of the very popular format. The other thing that we might have is a basic Microsoft Office viewer. This is also going to be interesting, meaning that if you have uh, Word documents, Excel documents, and so on, one of the possibilities that they are actually looking at is adding that uh, office reading from the browser. So these files will be, um, you'll be able to open them and read a Word document or see an Excel spreadsheet and stuff like that from within the browser without any add-ons, which is really nice. And I think that could be a, a nice, you know, Windows being oriented a lot for business, I think that could be a nice add-on for sure. And, of course, one of the features that it wants you to use is the collections feature that will enable you uh, to actually look at and create groups of um, all sorts of websites. Uh, collections is something I use a little bit. It's kind of nice and it's kind of interesting. Of course, it is customizable as you uh, have the possibility to add your own background picture at startup. If you don't like Bing, you have the possibility to change that to Google or your favorite uh, search engine, you know, DuckDuckGo, for example. And uh, you'll be able to personalize uh, the browser quite a lot to make it yours, basically. 
So uh, it's fast. It is also um, centered on being um, a browser that uses the minimum amount of battery when it's used. So if you're on a laptop and often use your laptop on battery power, uh, Edge is centered on the fact that it will be one of the browsers that actually consumes the least amount of power when on battery. So, uh, and it's fast, it's crisp. I've been using uh, Edge now since, pretty much since its beginning, and it's a great browser, and it's getting better every day as they get updates. So, um, if you want, you can get the uh, stable version. I'll post a link in the description below the video if you want to try it out immediately. Or else, uh, well, in May, you'll have it uh, by default, and uh, you'll be able to use it if you want to check it out. Uh, keep in mind that if you try it, it doesn't change anything to your Google Chrome browser or any other browser you are using. And uh, this is, of course, uh, something to know. But uh, you can try it, see if you like it, and of course, you can keep your own browser if you want. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.